Hey folks, Mark Pinaris, Internet Sales Manager from Infinity of Nashua, and today I'm going to show you our 2007 Infinity G35 Sport 6-speed manual transmission with 106,000 miles on it. This vehicle is the blue slate color with the stone leather interior. It does have the Autobahn invisible bra protection on the hood of the vehicle, so you're going to be very hard pressed to find any stone chips on the front. The vehicle's been serviced at an Infinity dealer since 10,000 miles. And I don't know if you can see that line in the camera, but that's what that line is there. So it's the invisible bra protection. Again, very, very clean uh, front of the vehicle. Newer tires. Right now I'm showing you the driver's side front tire and alloy wheel, showing you that there's no curbing. These are the 18-inch tires and wheels. These are Michelin tires, one of the best that are available. Showing you the tire tread depth, as you can see. Plenty of tire tread depth. The tires were just replaced. You can still see the nubs on the outsides. Here's a profile view. Again, this is the blue slate, which is the dark navy blue, with the stone leather interior, which is the light gray. Showing you the driver's door panel. There's the intelligent key button that allows you to remotely lock and unlock your uh, your vehicle with the the intelligent key in close proximity. Infinity of Nash will provide you with two keys, all the owner's manuals on all pre-owned Infinities. Showing you the spec sheet on this. And again, it's 106, 264 to be specific, six-speed manual transmission. This vehicle is rated for 19 miles per gallon city, 27 miles per gallon highway, and is being sold as is New Hampshire State Inspection with a 20-day New Hampshire temp tag. Here's the driver's side rear tire and wheel. Not seeing any road rash on these, and again, these tires were just replaced, but I'm going to put my hand in there to show you tire tread depth, and again, you can see the nubs on the outsides of the tires. Real, real pretty looking vehicle. It's an amazing shape for a 2007. The view from the back, as you can see, the LED tail lamps, those burn a little bit brighter to give extra visibility to those driving behind you. Dual exhaust. It's a true dual exhaust. They share a catalytic converter and then off the catalytic converter split into a true dual exhaust. Gives it that nice throttly sporty sound and feel. Also helps with the fuel economy. As you can see there's the Infinity logo and then there's the G35, the S signifying the sport. And again this is the six speed manual transmission. Showing you the interior trunk space here. There's the Infinity first aid kit. There is a center pass through. Here's your trunk space. There's the carpeted floor mats that came with the vehicle. As you can see, they're in very, very good shape. Previous customer took very good care of this vehicle. Emergency trunk release. This vehicle's got it all. Fuel door on the Infinity is on the passenger side. There is an arrow on the fuel gauge that points to this side, so you don't have to worry about pulling into the uh, gas station on the wrong side. Nothing more embarrassing. I've done it myself. There's the passenger rear alloy wheel, and I'm seeing just a tad of uh, some road rash. I do want to point that out. I'm not trying to be deceptive in any means. All that's really left is for you to drive this vehicle. Everything else you should pretty much have a good idea of. There's the tire tread depth in that rear passenger wheel. And again, there's those nubs on the sides of the tires. And here's your passenger front alloy wheel. This one looks like it's in great shape, not seeing any road rash on that. And this is going to give you the best indication of tire tread depth. Brand new. And there's the nubs on the sides of the tires. You can also see that protective film on the side here. Not only does it go on the nose of the vehicle all the way down to the bottom, but it also goes on the side uh, rear view mirrors to help protect that as well. I'm going to go ahead and pop up, uh, pop open the the hood show you underneath the engine compartment this is a 3.5 liter v6 engine it's an award-winning engine for infinity and has been for quite some time and you can see it's very very clean underneath the the engine compartment there's a separate firewall compartment for the um the battery to the vehicle and on the opposite side you also have a separate firewall for the brake fluid that's designed purposely to keep it from the extreme heat of the engine causing a brake fade or 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 uh, premature breakdown of the vehicle's battery. Your fluid level containers, you can see there's the power steering fluid. 
The washer fluid is probably the only level that you can't see because the neck does go down underneath, it's concealed, but there is an, uh, a light that comes on on the dash indicating that your washer fluid is getting low. That's where you would put the engine coolant, there's the thermostat cap, engine oil dipstick, 5W30 uh, conventional motor oil, nothing fancy about this, you don't need a synthetic oil, although if you want to put synthetic in, you're by all means more than welcome to. We recommend oil changes every three months or 3,750 miles a tire rotation every other oil change and about uh, once a year we recommend you replace both engine air filters here's one here there's the other one there that just helps the vehicle breathe a little bit better adding into the fuel economy and again uh, the dual engine air filters just like the dual exhaust helps the vehicle uh, get that nice throttly sound we also recommend replacing the cabin air filter that keeps the dust and pollen from entering the inside of the vehicle um, so if you suffer from allergies or you're an asthmatic uh, customer you'll find that this is very very beneficial for you dual uh, hood latches I point that out the significance of that because most accidents front-end accidents God forbid if it did happen are usually offset not right smack dab in the middle so this is designed to not have the engine come crunching up you also see dual gas shocks no prop rods to mess around with I'm gonna go ahead and close that up and continue with my presentation here as you can see it does have the factory moonroof it also has the uh, the Bose audio system, the sport seats, and the sport seats. What this does for both front passenger and driver, there's a manual thigh extender. So for those long trips, you can extend that out, and you don't have to worry about your feet falling or your legs falling asleep. Very clean. It's got the uh, the Shoto aluminum finish on the dash panel, on the door panels. Very clean. Auto automatic up and down express windows heated outside mirrors I'm gonna go ahead and open up the, uh, the rear for you plenty of space in the back it does have the latch system so if you do have little ones uh, the lower tethers are here and there are the top tethers as well as you can see there's one of the Bose speakers Bose is one of the best sound uh, manufacturers around and uh, we're fortunate enough to have that in the Infinities. You'll also notice three point seat belts in all seating positions in the back with assistance handles. A very clean interior, not smelling any presence of any foul odors, not seeing any staining on the seats. There's a glimpse of the moonroof and what it looks like from the back seat. Power windows in the back are also an express up and down window and you do have a center drop down there's that center pass through that is lockable and on the end of it you do have a cup holder so if you have occupants in the back and they've got a cup of coffee or a soda or a bottle of water uh, they can go ahead and, and have those stay there. I'm going to walk around the, uh, the other side of the vehicle and get behind the steering wheel course this is the most exciting part too bad I couldn't show you how the vehicle drives it's really an exhilarating drive go ahead and turn the radio down so on the driver's door panel you have a set button a one and a two that gives you a two driver memory seating position and that can be synced to each of individual remote so you go ahead and adjust your power driver seat your height adjustable and telescoping steering wheel which is controlled right there and you'll notice that the entire gauges move so you never have to worry about interference from the steering wheel and it also con uh, controls your outside heated, heated mirrors once you get all that synchronized you would hit set and the corresponding button and then immediately hit unlock on your remote and that programs everything right to your remote to adjust your power mirrors there's the toggle switch here you just adjust to the side that you want to adjust and then toggle there this here disables the window controls for the other occupants this is your power locks front power windows and your rear power windows on the left hand side of the dash panel you have your VDC that's the vehicle dynamic control works in conjunction with the anti-lock braking system and then there's your trunk release on the inside this little port here is where you would stick your intelligent key button side face up to uh, to be able to uh, have the vehicle start in the event that the batteries died it will not recharge the battery but it will communicate with the vehicle's computer system letting it know that the key is active and present and it's okay to, to operate the vehicle again we do provide you with two keys um, with the remotes integrated right in and all the books and manuals with your vehicle here's a look at the gauges on the far left hand side you have your temperature gauge just to the right of that is the tachometer in the center you can see is our 
odometer as well as our information display and the vehicle currently reads 106 264 for miles it's a balmy 29 degrees and there's our speedometer and our fuel gauge there's that arrow that I mentioned to you right uh, in the top part of the fuel gauge that points with the arrow to the right hand side of the vehicle as a friendly reminder to let you know that your fuel gauge is uh, your fuel door is on the passenger side Vehicle is equipped with automatic headlights. They are xenon headlights for both high and low beams. Those are the ones that burn a lot brighter, giving you extra visibility. And you'll really appreciate those on those dark New England nights. The fog lights are halogen beamed um, fog lights. And in order to operate those, either the automatic lights have to be turned on and the lights have to be activated, meaning it needs to be dark enough, or you have to override the system to manually turn the fog lights on. Plenty of controls on the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we have a lot of our, uh, I guess, comfort settings for your radio and, and uh, so on and so forth. And you can see if by pushing the buttons, toggling between the different radio presets, the up and down arrows allow me to toggle between those presets. If I push them up or down once, it goes to the previous or the next uh, preset bank. If I push up and hold, then it'll give me my scan. Self-explanatory here, those are your volume controls and you'll notice the volume picks up and goes down. There's the Bluetooth activated uh, cell phone service that comes with the Infinity. You can pair up to five Bluetooth enabled telephones per vehicle. And on the opposite side we have our factory cruise control. You push the cruise control button, cruise will illuminate on the dash right above the outside temperature display telling you that the cruise is now ready to be set. You get to your desired speed, you'd set it by pushing this, push up to accelerate, down to decelerate. Notice the start stop button. Because our keys are non-mechanical keys, there are the intelligent keys done by Infinity. the vehicle is a push button start. In order to start the vehicle, because it is the six speed, you'll want to certainly make sure that you're in neutral. You'll go ahead and depress the, uh, the clutch as well as the push uh, the start stop button at the same exact time. In order to turn the vehicle off, you just push the start stop button. Got your wipers, one click up from the off position is a quick swipe, and then you have your intermittent from the off position, one click down is your intermittent with variable speeds, and then all two down is a low constant, and all the way down is your high constant. Got your information display right in the center. There's your various radio control buttons, your dash dimmer if you wanna adjust that. Status tells you what's going on, distance to empty. Six disc in dash CD player. In order to load, you'll see the load button here. And then it'll obviously ask me which number I want to load. One, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, if there's a disc in slot number one, I can't put it in there. And to eject, you would just do this. Now, it would also ask you which ones you want to eject. You have a dual climate control which is real, real nice, especially if there's uh, two occupants in the vehicle with independent temperature settings. This would control the driver's side, and on this side here, you control the passenger side. By hitting the mode button, that changes where the air will, uh, will actually go to. As you can see, the right side is set at 86, the, the left side is set to 76. If I push the button on the right-hand side, it'll actually adjust the fan speed and you can see that now in the in the lower part of the screen. So it'll adjust the fan speed and you may be even able to hear it. So what it does, it works very similar to the thermostat in your home. It'll compensate for the interior cabin temperature and adjust it accordingly so that the driver's side is set to about 76 and the passenger side is set to 86. As it reaches its temperature, the fan speed will back down and it'll just continue to pump in some ambient um, air. To turn that off, you can either do that by hitting the speed control or just by pushing the button. I'll do it this way here so I can go ahead and turn down the fan speed. Now if I want the entire cabin of the vehicle to be one um, steady temperature, all I would do is hit this button here. And you'll see by hitting that, it's dual, both passenger and driver settings are set to the same. There's the heated seat controls for the driver and the passenger for those cold mornings. There's the short throw shifter, the emergency brake, Homelink Universal Transceiver with a built-in compass and it is an auto dimming rear view mirror. That's what that little green light is. And there's the factory power moonroof. 
with one touch operation as you can see my fingers not on the button it opened it all the way back and one button to also close it. it does have the manual retractable shade and you also have a venting feature so if you just want to let a little bit of the air in you do have that ability as well and again folks this has been our 2007 infinity g35 six speed manual sport being offered by infinity of nashua with 106,264 miles my name is mark canars thank you and have a wonderful day